because everybody needs their tea break. Okay. I know it's been a long time since I've recorded an unboxing video, but this is ridiculous. Oh, even the tea break mug? Oh, come on. It's just a joke. Why'd you have to do that? Jesus. <laughs> hey, what have I told you about that? <laughs> oh, it's Halloween. Oh, that makes so much more sense. That explains the cobwebs. <laughs> okay, I guess since it's Halloween, you can have a little bit of fun. <laughs> oh, 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 okay. Okay, that's too much fun. Now you gotta stop it now. Stop! Stop! Well, now that that crisis is bloody averted, hello everyone, and welcome to the Halloween special. Hopefully editing James put in some scary sound effects there, or else it would be... Well, it would make me look like a right fool. Unfortunately, like the past couple of years, I have been doing pumpkins. Um, this time, however, I just didn't have time to get around doing a pumpkin, but that doesn't mean that we can't celebrate the Halloween spirit with spoops. No, because I've actually managed to get a hold of something that could be quite terrifying, depending who's looking at it. Mainly a child, but still, you know, we make do. And presenting it today is of course the one, the only, beautiful assistant, take it away! Ah, oh, Jesus, she gets a better arm on her every day. Do you work out? Bloody hell. All right, here it is, of sorts. Oh, is, that, is that better? Is that better for the camera? It, what even is this called? I don't know. I saw, I saw it and I thought, is this real? No, it is. This is the Tyrannosaurus anatomy kit. No, your eyes do not deceive you. Just like the plethora of Owens that we've been given by Mattel, here comes another T-Rex. Except for this time, it shows homage to, if anybody remembers, the Allosaurus anatomy kit. I think it was an Allosaurus anatomy kit where you could take apart the Allosaurus's leg and put it back together, or even just parts of it, I think, like this. Except for this is uh, way more intense and shows a lot more detail, like you've got bone, muscle structure, and even organs inside, as well as a DNA key. I'm not even sure what that does. I think you, you put it around different parts of the T-Rex and you work different organs, so that's pretty cool. And what spookier and gorier? I mean, I, if I'm gonna be honest, I would have done the slime thing with the Baronix because it's slime and Halloween and stuff like that. However, Mattel don't like me. And when I saw this, I thought this is way more fitting. So, uh, let's get these bloody cobwebs off the damn thing. And, uh, ah, ah! it's like one of those fit, like ferret things that you have on a string and you just pull it and it starts going round your fingers and stuff. By stem. You see that? What the hell is stem? No, <laughs> ah, don't stick it back down. <laughs> <laughs> so close. Oh, and that reminds me, a little update. Actually, since recording that Spinosaurus unboxing video, um, it appears that Target is now no longer restocking the uh, Spinosaurus, leading to it rising in inflation on eBay and sites like that. However, I will make the counter argument that actually you don't want the Spinosaurus. Because since recording that video, um, the leg is like so weak and slidey that like the Spinosaurus cannot stand by itself. If I had it with me, I think it's downstairs. All right, fine, I'll go get it. God, I'll leave you with that guy then, eh? Jeez. <laughs> hey, hey, stop it! Ha! Anyway, yeah, this, this Spinosaurus, this is the one I was talking about, this guy, like, if you just stand it, it starts to slide and fall. It just gives off a very, I don't know, like cheapy kind of feel to it. The action again, like you kind of pinch your skin in there, which is a bit of a nuisance. It feels like just terrible plastic. You can hear the sound of it. Can we put it on my mic? You hear that? Yeah, I would say just wait. If they do release like a version 2.0, get that one. Anyway, on to the actual video. Well, aren't you fabulous? Oh God, Jesus! Hope you've got your mug of tea with you. Tea break! You'll be the envy of all your school friends if you take your mug of tea with you. Sorry, I thought I had something in it there. Ooh, spoopy. Okay, so what components do we have? We've got the main body of the T-Rex. Ooh, with a moving arm. Ooh, 
individual ribs which you can play the drums with. So xylophone, that's the one. Oh, oh, the muscle. Oh, that's cool. It's all rubber. Oh, it's all squishy. Oh, that's great. So the bone is solid. The skin, unfortunately, isn't rubber. It's still uh, solid plastic. But they've went above and beyond there to give the T-Rex that, like, rubber feel for the, uh... I was going to say for everything that's internal organs and muscle, but the uh, the intestines aren't, and I can't really say. Oh no, the lungs are squishy, because I think the lungs actually go up and down. I could be wrong. All right, let's get all the bits out of the box. Ah! Oh, oh, oh my god! <laughs> oh, that's horrendous. Oh, I feel like I've carved up a T-Rex here. Where'd the rest of them go? He fell down here. Ah! Jesus, have I just got sensitive ears or is this just, ah, God, murder on the eardrums. Come here, Mr. Foot. They really didn't, oh, look at that. The way the muscle moves with the bone. Oh, that is so cool. I mean, on the other side, we do have like a little gap here, but this I think is for this tourney key, which is of course covered in cobwebs. And if I put it in and you turn it, Oh, it like moves his jaw up and down. I quite like this idea of this being like, you want to see how it moves? Have you got the DNA key? I've got the code. And you can sort of just move it yourself. So if we put it, there's like one, two, three places you can put in the jaw, the top of where the lungs are and the leg. So if I put it in with the lungs, oh, that is so cool. Like obviously it's just a little mechanic. Like inside a mechanism moving around, but it looks like he's breathing. Oh, that's awesome. This is way better than carving a pumpkin. <laughs> oh, there, there we go. Okay. And then we're going to, are you ready? If this is going to work. Ready? Ah, oh, that is awesome. I mean, I think I've, have I put the leg right? I mean, that's not bad at all to sort of have that little split in the bone there to have him like, so you can see him walk. I mean, I think they could have done a little bit more, have like the leg go up and then down rather than just kick out and come back in. But just to have like, just to have that so you can move them. Oh, that's so cool. I love this. It's all squishy. Oh, oh put his muscle back on. <laughs> Let, let's put them all back together to start with, shall we? Oh, it splits in. Oh, okay. So you can, sp ah, there you go. So if you, if you want to do this, this is awesome. This is so cool, it's like a learning tool for kids. Oh my god, I think this is even better than the bloody, um, the Allosaurus from the Lost World. So look there, he's just got a little bone poking out of his foot. Oh, look at that. I mean, I don't know how well you can really see it, but look. I mean, I'll show loads of close-ups. The way that bone looks and with the skin over the top. Oh god, don't catch the muscle. Ooh, felt that. And there we go. So just click that final parts in. Yeah! So now, You've got like a normal leg, but it's got a little skeleton at the bottom. And we should, I'm assuming you can't move this. Ah, Jesus! Let's see, can you still move it? Oh, you can! Oh! Okay, never mind. Ooh, that baffles me, eh? Oh, oh come on, man. <laughs> Turned out to be way more a pain in the ass than I expected. Oh, God, it's to be. So it appears. So with the, uh, this really feeble little T-Rex claw, I'm even amazed that they decided to do this because it's tiny. Yeah, well, no, no, that's not it. <laughs> like, I can get the top bit in. Like, that's, this isn't a problem. And you can sort of see that, yeah, that works. But then getting this bottom one in, oh my God. What age is this for? Does it say? Six up? A six up? <laughs> There's no way a six-year-old's doing this. Watch Beaver struggle to get a tiny T-Rex arm into a tiny T-Rex hole. It's gonna be taken out of context, James. Very well done. Okay, we're, le we're leaving that. Sod that. We're, we're forgetting his tiny little arms. He looks way better with like a tiny little skeleton arm. It's beautiful. Okay, now for, okay, we can cover this up if we wanted to, right? <laughs> God, there's gonna be spider webs in this for <laughs> days. <laughs> oh yeah, that's, that's pretty simple. So that's the tail. The tail looks awesome as well. It's got like a little bone structure in there to show some vertebrae. And it even looks, maybe you can take that out, I'm not sure actually. So the muscle as well has these red sort of clip-on parts to show you that the muscle has to attach to the bone, which is really cool. And you can sort of like move this flap of salmon around. Oh God, no. 
Oh, it can come completely off, so you could have just a skeleton. Oh, they, it clips on really nice, actually. There you go. Oh, and it stands, and he's got a little arm. And for all intents and purposes, that looks like the regular uh, Thrash and Throw T-Rex, which, you know what, I'll go and get it and see if we can compare it. Ah, there you go. Oh, no, it's a lot smaller. Never mind. So, <laughs> here's the Thrash and Throw T-Rex for size comparison. If we put these two there, so, oh, uh, well, this one's electronic, of course. It is a lot bigger, but the mold is pretty much the same. Um, for some odd reason, <laughs> you'll probably see this in the close-ups and stuff, this T-Rex, uh, the Thrash and Throw, has mascara on. For some odd reason, they haven't painted um, this bit of the face dark, or dark enough in comparison to the Thrash and Throw, but really, if I just, I kind of want to just go around here and just have a look. Yeah, they're, they're pretty much the same. And it even has the scars as well, because it's pretty much the same mold, except the thrash and throw is a better, like the markings are way more deep and defined on that one. This one looks like they've been using the same mold, but it's, oh wait, can you take the skull off? I don't think you can, that would be so cool. Yeah, if there's one thing I'd say that they probably should have done is to see a T-Rex skull. Obviously that would have made like the whole using this segment probably way harder and even more bits. I would say don't even bother doing this little arm here. Don't even bother doing this because that was so blue. I can't even get that on for God's sake. Um, I would say you probably just spent time uh, having the T-Rex skull because that would look so cool and it would be interesting to see what the Jurassic Park T-Rex's skull actually looks like in comparison to a real T-Rex skull. So that about wraps up the anatomy kit T-Rex. If I would have to say anything, um, I would say it's really, really cool um, as a sort of learning tool, uh, having this sort of like DNA spiral key. This is like, there's so many good features in this. I love it. Only downside is that that, I mean, seeing that little arm and how it's like made, cause like, um, is cool to see the bone structure and stuff. Um, but like I said, I'd probably rather have the skull. I think the breathing of the lungs is just a fantastic touch. I love that. Um, especially the rubber on the muscle structure. Uh, things that things that I just can't praise enough is like the fact that you can see the lungs like move up and down, like resp respiratory sort of like uh, motions. And the fact that they cut out the muscle on this leg just to show like it kicking and bringing in and just how the muscle sort of moves. Obviously it's not, you know, actually how a muscle moves, but it gives the illusion of what a muscle does when you do that. I'm actually quite blown away by that. I, I don't know what I expected. Any expectations I had, boah, I thought it would just be a simple like click that in, click that in, and there you go, you get to see the, uh, the T-Rex. But the fact that you can move the organs and move the muscles uh, with this thing, stroke of genius. Whoever came up with this at Mattel, you did a fantastic job on that, that's fantastic. And it saves me having to recreate my own T-Rex because um, let's just say the, uh, the, the, the frog experiment didn't go very well. Yes, we'll not speak of him. But anyway guys, if you've enjoyed this video, I'm sorry if you were expecting a pumpkin. I just thought we would change it up and sort of, there you go, some cobwebs and spoopiness. And uh, yeah, if you join and leave a like, and until next time, where well, it'll be another 10 years before I do another unboxing. Still waiting on Mattel. Send me stuff, please. And if you enjoyed this video, guys, leave a like, and until next time, I'll see you later. Oh, bye bye <laughs>